And that there is a very solid integral connection between teaching and research. They are not separate entities. At least they haven't been in my life. They are not things that go on in bitter war uh, between each other. They, they are in my life, there are frustrations, there's no doubt about it. Would I have published more? Had I not taught? Yes. Would what I published be worth as much? No, I don't think so. I have learned an enormous amount from teaching. I was able to, I was able to test theories out in teaching. I was able to try techniques out in teaching. I was able to talk to students, many of them bored maybe, but there were enough who weren't, who responded, who came to my office, who talked about the stuff. I was able to first use visual materials. I'm teaching films. How do you use films? How do you use photographs? Uh, what do they mean? Uh, teaching has been essential to me. Look, I think I've said this before, but as long as you've raised it, I'll, 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 I'll grab the bait. Um, I think students have gotten better. I, I loved the students I had when I first got here, but I love the students I teach now more uh, because I think they're better. I think they they've learned better. They know they have a more uh, they have a, a more diverse sense of what history is. They have a far more diverse sense of what America is. They understand America is not a white European place, but a place of great diversity. You know, many people here from Africa, many people here from the Caribbean, and many many people here from Asia, and. Uh, and they understand that that's always been true. I mean, the proportions have changed, but America's always been. One out of every five Americans in 1800 was black. Uh, who, who, who knew that? Who taught us that? Who talked about that? Nobody. But now it's different. And, and uh, so I think that's just exciting.